Hello, this video is about the correct assembly of tune bottom brackets where I will show you the correct assembly process and the use of the correct torques. So what we have here is a standard steel uh, frame with 68mm BB housing. We have tune BBs and uh, crank with the tools needed. So, so here we ha I have the torque wrench, I have the easy fit tool which makes the assembly much easier due to nylon insert which holds the uh, tool in place. It's available with, it, uh, with tool. So first thing we have to figure out the thread direction. So for this tool has made a special marking on each cup. So we have let's say this is the right cup, left cup and you will see here first the uh, dry direction so you will see here left-handed and they have the actually the arrow of the way the thread should be turned same goes for the left cup so it's very easy to know which way to turn the the threads so also very important thing to know aside from the thread direction that with composite cups there is no need to use any grease in the frame thread so if there are there is some grease we need to clean it, clean the thread anyway, so, so it's, it's okay to have a clean thread, it's the best, best way to have a correct assembly. Also check if the sides are not damaged, if everything is okay, and then you can start assembling the, the BB. So once again, very important for the composite cups, there is no need to add any grease, because with grease, then uh, uh, the, the torque changes because uh, of uh, uh, less resistance and friction. So uh, it's my suggestion that you do not use any grease. So first thing I suggest you take the left cup and screw it in by hand a couple of turns. So that way the spindle will go in straight and you will have no issues with starting the right thread as well. The gravity makes the, the spindle fall down and usually the right thread is started in the wrong way because of this, because people screwing, uh, start screwing it in, in, in the wrong direction. So first couple of turns of the left, left cup you see here spindle is already out so it's easy to start going and turning it by hand as well. So first you have to screw in the right side because it's important that the right side goes all the way in so the chain line it will be perfect as specified in the size charts. So now we take a torque wrench. I will set it to 35 newton meters for, for this and we take the easy fit tool and then we will in the right cup. Then we change and screw in the left cup as well, the same torque. So 35 Newton meters is more than enough uh, to have friction between the thread and, uh, and the cups. Also the shoulders here provide additional friction from the outside so that the uh, cups will not get screwed in. So 30 to 35 Newton meters, it's very important to know not to overdo it because with steel cups we are used to doing it every time. So here we have again here 35 Newton meters and now the cups are screwing, screwed in in the right way. So no grease and 30 to 35 Newton meters always. Then check if all is good, if the spindle is running normally. If that's okay, we can go and put the cranks on. So you put the crank on the thread. Very important not to add any grease on the spindle with the crank because then you will have no friction between materials and the crank will slide onto the, onto the spindle and it will bottom out in the end. So no grease, absolutely no grease on the uh, spindle or the crank. You can add 
little grease under the left cup maybe here so it, the grease will protect the bearing from the elements from, from the water it will help uh, especially with uh, uh, sharing bikes with rental bikes which are outside all day and uh, where the, there is salty air or, or uh, during the winter time so you can add some grease under under the left cup right side is already much better uh, protected by the chain wheel uh, and the add-ons here but it's not necessary because the bearings here are very good quality so we have two types of bolts for the assembly uh, one is allen key zinc plated bolt and the other is black one standard bolt which we have here you will have also uh, the, some loctite added so it will fix the bolt inside the assembly torque recommended assembly torque for the for the bolt is 40 to 45 uh, yeah, 45 to 50 newton meters so we will add this now to to our tool so we will put put it at 45 so here we will start start the thread by hand and then use the tool size 14 and we will use the torque which is 45 newton meters so it's 45 to 50 newton meters is enough and then you hold down the crank and start screwing in you see the crank sliding on slowly to onto the spindle and when we reach the desired torque then it should stop before the end of the square and there we have it here now the crank is here you will see that it need not reach the end of the square it's very important not for the crank not to bottom out and it has enough torque that it will be fixed uh, for its lifetime so that's the correct assembly process with the torques and the grease use so once again to, to recap everything no grease on the threads or on the cups no grease on the spindle uh, torque for the cups is 30 to 35 newton meters and torque for the crank is 45 to 50 newton meters thank you for listening and for watching